There we go. Let's record. Let's sing. I just go. I like that song. <clears throat> oh no. Agent's land. What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> what is he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Langsy says little cubs never know what never know the real fury of the elder wolves. These quotes are definitely becoming increasingly difficult to decipher. Hey, it's like a doe. And what does that mean? What do you mean? It seems that you'll never really know how angry I can get. Rah. Uh. <laughs> Just starts roaring him. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor. I like you better without those glasses, man. The counterfeit bills made with Babylon's ink. They were all made of Zang five denominations. Yes, yeah, so I heard from Miss Von Karma. But we don't know where the play money has gone. They must not have figured that. They must not have figured out that it was all burned yet. Ever since those things showed up in circulation, my country's economy has taken a big hit. Zang Fai is in its financial chaos as we speak. Oh no! Anyway. Oh, kind of like the real. <laughs> <laughs> because we can't tell the difference between our own bills and the fakes. <laughs> that's, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> but it's not just the money, the citizens are also worried. I've staked the honor of the House of Lang on this. And I've come to this land to capture the mastermind behind this whole mess. Unfortunately, he's probably dead. I investigated how the bills were made and how the ink was smuggled into Zengfa. And I pursued the snuggling ring all the way here. But tonight, this is where the final chapter was written. Despite my frantic efforts to chase the snuggler down, someone got to him first. And now I've called I've called to the return home without a single answer. Agent Lang, I... Don't start! It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault, Mr. Prosecutor. Master Dumbass, I'm sorry for all the trouble <laughs> tonight. I think it was something. Oh, he lied and apologize. It is all because he was not strong enough. If only I was able to think of a better solution. Quack is you fool. Curse your empty brain. You're being too hard on yourself, Ambassador. I'll take full responsibility for night. End of story. Sheena, let's go. Time to return to our den. Hmm. Yes. I don't really like to admit it, but there's not much else for us to do but to go home as well. Agent Slang, a moment, if you will. Hold it! Wait! It's me! You, Wolfman and the Secretary Lady! Hold it! Objection, pal! Detective <laughs> Gumshoe? Have you got the results of the handwriting analysis already? Yep, and of that note, was definitely written by Mr. Coachman, sir. Hmm, just as I thought. Good work, Detective. Coachman? Is it Coochieman? Coochieman. 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 <laughs> <Coochie -man. laughs> Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, how long do you think you can, uh, intend to hold us up for? Hmm. Sorry to have made you wait, but I believe that now everyone is finally here. Agent Sheena, I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. Yes? How exactly did you fail to see the Yatagarasu when you were in the neighboring room to where Mr. Kochiman was killed? I'd like you to explain that to us. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. What are you doing asking her about something she didn't see? Agent Slang hasn't touched the Babal investigation at all, so I suppose I will need to explain a few things to him first. Mars Edgeworth, I can't even begin to imagine what's going on in that head of yours. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. The uh, only do you thing want me going. To do hmm? Huh? Do you want me to do Sheena, or are you going to do Sheena? If you Sheena? want to. Oh, yeah, sure. Just so that uh, Shaw doesn't have to talk for herself. <laughs> what? But um, I do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the only thing going on in my head is the pursuit of the truth. Oh, that seems like you have some sort of a plan. Very well. I supr uh, I superb you until the end. <sighs> is she seriously going to treat me as some as a subordinate for the rest of the day? Uh, precisely. Simply, oh no! Why did I press X? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like he's here yet. I'm not trying to pick a fight, and the evidence is hardly flimsy, as you will see. 
Oh, are you just going to stare at- Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I should've known! That you and I are destined to fight out to the very end! Oh, shit. It would appear that way. Whoa! <laughs> Objection! Well, I'll prove her innocence, so let's see what you got, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hmm. With pleasure. For my opening argument, I'll discuss the Atagarasu that appeared in Babal and establish exactly who it was that Kay saw. Agent Lang, I assume you've been briefed on Kay's testimony. You mean suspicious person to coat that she saw? That's right. That That's person is one of the keys to solving this case. The person who pretended to be the Yatagarasu. Pretended? And what do you mean by that? What do you mean? We'll get to that in a second. But first, I want to review what this person K saw did. K, if you could please explain the, what the person you were chasing did for us. You got it. I first spotted the suspicion, suspicious person near the open air stage on the Babel East side. I called out to the person, but as soon as I did, that person ran off. I thought it was rather suspicious, so I immediately gave chase. For the sake of argument, let's call this suspicious person the imposter, the Yatagarasu. Now <laughs> please tell us what happened when you chased the Yatagarasu up to the third floor. Can you? I chased the Yatagarasu all the way up to the third floor of the Babalis Embassy. It was a pretty straight chase down the hallway, until the sudden turn. The Yagarasu disappeared around the corner, so I did my best to catch up. When I turned the corner, I saw the Yagarasu run into Mr. Cochin's office. I gave chase and ran into the room. But when I entered the room, it was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. I felt something on the ground next to my foot, so I turned on the light, but then... Ah! <laughs> oh. I actually think Shasha should take Sheena, Shana, yeah. because um, I don't think Francisca's gonna talk that much okay, here. Okay, that's true. Who's there? By the time I had turned on the lights, the Yadagadasu had disappeared. When Kay entered the room, the person she, she was chasing was already gone. Why do you suppose that was, Agent Lang? <sighs> what do you mean? What do you, why do I what do you suppose? Isn't it obvious? The person slipped out through the door behind the girl under the cover of darkness. Objection! Sorry, but I know for a fact that the person didn't escape through that door. Oh? And how do you know that with such certainty? <laughs> That's easy. If the Yatagarasu had left through that door, they would have run into this person. I mean, it was Gumshu? No, Sheena. No, no she, she was behind, uh... She was in the room next door. Yeah. Take yeah, that! Yeah, but if he ran through the door... What? Yeah. Your answer is, Sheena? It's a really stupid answer. Yes, because yeah. let's consider what would have happened if the Yatagarasu had used the door. When Kay screamed upon discovering Mr. Cochin's body, the Yatagarasu oh, would have run goodness. right into Agent Sheena, who was in the next room over. Ah! Agent Sheena, would you mind telling us if you saw the suspicious person in question? No, I didn't see anyone. You see? Therefore, the Yatagarasu could not have a... Not so fast! It just means that the creep slipped, uh, slipped out before Sheena made out it out to the hallway. Objection! Hm. I doubt that, as there was another person in that hallway. A certain detective. detective it was me. Um, it, 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 it. Where were you exactly at that time? Uh, Misa. Well, uh, when I heard uh, K scream, <coughs> I ran towards Mr. Cochin's office in the opposite direction of Agent Sheena, sir. So, Agent Lang, can you explain how someone could have eluded both of them? Even you must concede that under these circumstances, the door was not a viable route. <sighs> Wait, no, Mr. Edgeworth nailed him with just an explanation of what happened. 
Yes, I've eliminated one of the possible escape route routes from that room. But this is far from over. I need to make Agent Lang aware as well of yet another possible escape route that the Yatagarasu could have taken. Mm. <laughs> I get it. So that's what you were trying to show me. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, let me guess. This is what you're trying to say, right? Because the door was the door was not a viable escape route, then there must have been another way out. Precisely. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, it's time to bust out your revolving fireplace wall explanation, right? No, not quite yet. Well, but why? I thought this would be the perfect time. The revolving wall on the bubbly side is known only to four people. And if we use this information unwisely, the truth may escape us in the end. Why are we discussing this right in front of Lang? <coughs> oh. It's all this whisp what's with all this whispering over there? Scared I'll figure out your tactics? <laughs> Nothing of the sort, Agent Lang. Come on, <laughs> let's continue where we left off. That smug, haughty attitude of yours, you really rubbed me the wrong way, you know that? Did you call me haughty? <coughs> well, no matter, I figured it out before anyway. The only other possible escape route, besides the door, is the room's lone window. And since the eerie picture of said escape route exists... Are you saying that this photo captured the moment of the Yadagorasu's escape? I guess Detective Bad must have filled him in on this photo. I have to admit that at first, I thought the window to be a possible escape route as well. However, I now know that to be impossible. Hmm. Now I realize you may not know this, but, uh... Objection! <laughs> Humans can't fly! Oh yeah. Of course what? I know that. That's bloody common sense. Besides, I never said I thought that the photo... Besides, I never thought... I said, what? Besides, I never said I thought that person... That photo to be the of the Yatagarasu's escape route. I suppose not. All right then, explain yourself. The shadow in this photo is not the Yatagarasu that Kay was chasing after. Not so fast. L you can say whatever you'd like in whatever language you want. But there's only one language I really understand. The language of evidence. Very well, then. I present to you proof that the person Kay saw is not the same as the one in this photo. Uh, that would be... Uh, um, present to you the person Kay saw is not the same one as... Dude, what? Huh? Is that even a, is, is that even supposed to be a person? I'm not what, no. flowers? <laughs> flowers, we haven't used those yet. <laughs> you might never know. The wire? Ah, uh, why? Okay. Oh, why the wire? Okay, wait. Let's go through our evidence one by one. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, because yeah, oh. it's, it's, it's the fourth and the fifth fourth place. And fifth. Yeah, so it, yeah, it, so it doesn't, doesn't line up. Because this was during the yeah. first fire, and Kay was running from the second fire. Exactly. Take that! Let me explain to you precisely why the shadow in this photo is not the Yatagarasu Kay saw. Kay spotted the Yatagarasu heading for the third floor during the second fire. However, the photo in question was taken just after the first fire. Now, way to go! That's twice you've bit him in the butt now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done yet. You still have to explain what that shadow is. And how the Yadagarasu escaped. I don't suppose you can answer both, can you? Regarding the photo, I admit that we don't understand what it means quite yet. <laughs> As I thought. However, the Yatagarasu's escape route? Now that I can answer. You can? Well, Mr. Prosecutor, go on. Enlighten me. Hold it. Even if I explain it, you'll try to find some flaw with what I have to say. You were busy heading up the Alabastian investigation, correct? In that case, I doubt you'd have much knowledge about the Babali side of the case. So wouldn't it be best if that lead on the side, if the lead on that side, Agent Sheena, explained it in my stead? Ah, Sheena is my subordinate. If I don't stick up for her now, how can I look her in the eyes and call herself my her boss? Call myself her boss. Hmm. 
Lung, it's all right. I can take care of him. Gina. You've shielded me a lot as my boss. But it's time for me to prove my worth. <laughs> to Edgeworth. All right, if you're okay with it, then you may have my, you may have my support. Finally, it's down to just Agent Sheena and myself. This is where the battle really begins. Now, then, what is it you'd like to ask? Hmm, let's see. Why don't we start with your movements inside the Babylese Embassy? Hmm. During the first Bubba House fire, I cited in putting out the fire. I assisted. During the second fire, I was searching for the other Garasu and I had appeared in Babahal. <laughs> when I, while I was searching, I heard a screaming coming from the next room over. Although I was in the next room, I was unable to catch a glimpse of the other Garasu. To be honest, I'm actually very skeptical that the girl Yatagarasus even exist. And that is all I have to say. I'm not lying when I say I saw the suspicious person run into Mr. Cochin's office. Like I said earlier, I have no intention of retracting my testimony. Hmm. Good. Just to confirm. Did you have a partner when you were on your investigation? No, I moved alone. In that case, you have no one to corroborate your alibi. Is that correct? Are you calling her suspicious because she was in a room by herself? How pathetic! I called Miss Oldbag suspicious because she was in a room by herself. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, <I love> you. <laughs> and it wasn't when Agent Sheena tried to arrest Kay under the same rationale? Mm. Uh. And how about when you accused Larry because he was the weapon's owner? Ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I'd expected from that useless lump to get into such a situation. Although I suppose it's never a good idea to let mistakes go uncorrected. I will make no excuse for what I did in that situation. Then you should apologize right now for making K out to be a killer, pal. I'm sorry, Gina. Apologize. No. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I think. <laughs> it's really okay. I mean, I I'm not under suspicion anymore. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. Well, I never doubted you. Not for one second. And uh, the same goes for me. I believe in Gina. Then let's put don't. that to the test. <laughs> don't. <laughs> uh -huh, don't. And see if she really is worthy of your trust. <laughs> this promise to be interesting. Alright, this is a present thingy. So... Wow. Are you okay? also know I, what it is. I try so hard not to make Sheena's voice sound like uh, Von Karma's, because they're both my lower region voices. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, how can I go? <laughs> No, one is more assertive, one is more whispery, so they sound okay. different. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, okay, good, good. Okay. Such a dominance every day, guys. <laughs> okay, there's no such a Okay. Heard a scan from the next room. No, in the next room, I wasn't able to catch a glimpse. Okay, no. That, 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 that thing doesn't say much. Okay. Unable to catch a glimpse of the Yata Garasu. Which would yeah, make Garasu. sense because she was in this next room. The fireplace. Uh-huh. Pretty sure it's this, right? Hey. It's, it's a pretty straightforward contradiction. Yeah, we have full health. Objection! No. Oh, okay. Being <laughs> in, <laughs> yeah, it, if I heard the music, I was like, fuck! Okay. <laughs> Being in the room next to Mr. Kuchiman's office is the problem with your testimony. Hmm. Not so fast. Simple, are you there yet? <laughs> I guess he's not. <laughs> Might have passed out. Aww. It's like... Mr. Is it, is Prosecutor. It's like 3 yeah, it's 3 a.m. for him. Oh, shit. I don't see what problem you're talking about at all. 
Agent Lang, do you recall the secret we discovered about the Alabastian office fireplace? Uh, oh, you mean how it connects the office with the room next door? What about it? Well, Alabast isn't the only country with secret connecting fireplaces. That's kind of racist. What? The fireplace in Mr. Kuchiman's office holds the exact same secret. What? The Atagarasu didn't escape through the door to the room or the window. The escape route was through the revolving fireplace wall and into the re into the next room over. <laughs> I love that movement. <laughs> now do you see? Banana Man hopping over. Banana Man! If the Atagarasu had escaped into the next room, then the thief would have run straight into Agent Sheena. Meaning that it's impossible for her to have missed the Yatagarasu. Uh, <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Miles? Well, would you care to explain, Agent Sheena, how you managed to completely miss the fleeing Yatagarasu? Or shall I? <laughs> Whoa! What happened to her eyes? <laughs> Your I'm seeing now. Your claim that you were in the next room was a lie all along, wasn't it? The truth is, you were the one Kay saw in the coat, pretending to be the Atagarasu, and you were the one she chased after. As you tried to lose her, you ran into Mr. Kuchiman's office and headed for the fireplace. Then you shared your coat in the next room, leaving it there to emerge as Agent Sheena. After that, you came back around to place Kay under arrest. <laughs> Does that sound about Person right? No. If not, then speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> My true identity. It's How not dare you make Kay look like a bad guy when you're the suspicious one, Belle? I'm actually Sia. Hmm? Like the, the music. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sia. No. <laughs> Sia. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so oh. celebrity is getting uh, caught. Guys, guys, do you, do you recognize this? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shana? See, now he's on our side. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh. Oh. That, that laugh. <gasps> I remember this irritating laugh. Burr, I'm getting chills down my spine. It can't be. But it has to be. Sheena, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was so funny that they couldn't help but laugh. Funny, you say? Yes, that you would accuse me of being the Atakarasu. The prosecutor of this country really are all so strange. Do you think you can get away with this by simply laughing it off? <laughs> uh, you think I'm taking things too lightly? I think not. It's the prosecutor who is. Look, everything you said earlier is nothing more than mere speculations. The other grass have fled for the fireplace. Do you have any proof to back it up your claim? If you don't, then you haven't proven a, th a thing regarding the other grass's escape route. The tone of voice you're taking with me now has certainly changed. Yeah, you went from like, uh, what, to two octopus below to two octopus up. <laughs> <laughs> And that's because it's the, it's the character I voiced last time. Anyway, that's because it's been a while since I've had this much fun. I think I'll let loose, and then we can have a real battle of wits. For an agent of Interpol to show me the true power of her mind, it is a great honor. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I'm not some foolish board, you know. I know, and that is why I won't hold anything back either as I answer your question. My question? Here is your proof that the revolving fireplace wall in Babal was used recently. Oh, uh, the fucking... The 
The what? I don't know. Because, <laughs> mm, like, we know that the ash was moved and that the ink was, like, moved as well. Yeah. But she doesn't know it and we don't have the evidence. Could it be... Huh? Could it be the proof? Yeah, wait. Evidence for that? Oh. Wait, what? We do for the ashes. Evidence. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't have evidence for the ashes, do we? No, you do. You do have the evidence. No. <laughs> no. Can I say it a second ago? Um, wait, wait, go back. Go back. Maybe the... If only somebody had told us that there were ashes at the fireplace. <laughs> oh, it's so pink. Um, Is it the ink? Daniel. Yeah. What? What? Well, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you to find it out. I'll wait for you to find it out. What? This is gonna take years. Wait, is there more evidence? Why does nobody listen to me? Wait. We can't hear yeah, you. Mochi said it already. Mochi said it already. I can't hear you, Mochi. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, okay, what, is what it testimony evidence? Testimony evidence? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Only somebody <laughs> told me <laughs> that. I'm turning into Daniel. I'm sorry. Oh, I completely look. Look, I, I I mostly judge on like based on the appear. Oh my god, I judge books by their covers. I did I didn't realize. <laughs> what a point for Mochi. I'm so sorry. Mochi's catching up to you guys in this race. This point race. What do you mean? Yes. What do you mean? Excuse you. <laughs> Take that. I'm still winning. I don't care. I'm still winning. She's catching up. <laughs> Anyways, better, better watch out. <laughs> You better watch I'm out. sorry, you but watch out. I'm sorry, but this is a real honest answer to my question. Yes. According to Ambassador Palino's testimony, he said that he was burning some documents in the fireplace with Mr. Coachman. Oh. The ashes of what they burned were left in the fireplace, so they should have been there. However, when we went to the investigate when we went to investigate the room, the ashes weren't there. Why is that my problem? Maybe someone cleaned them up. Objection! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Ambassador Paleno said that he forgot to. And so the question remains, why were the ashes missing? The answer is simple. Where are you? <laughs> Kooby dooby doo. Where are you? When the Yatagarasu <laughs> went through the fireplace wall, the ashes were pushed into the next room by the wall as well. The movement of the ashes that were in Mr. Kuchiman's office is my proof. <laughs> and just what is so funny? Your face. Ashes proof. Are you even allowed to submit such vagary evidence in court? You! You still wish to fight us? Of course! Why wouldn't I? In that case, let's hear your counter-argument. <laughs> My counter-argument, huh? This is really just like being in court. Well, to me, we're simply continuing from where we left off all those years ago. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It doesn't matter if we're at a crime scene or in court. Let's finish this here and now. I suppose. I've had a lot of fun today, but are you wary of this game of cat and mouse? <laughs> Let's make this last testimony and wrap up this absurd case once and for all. So basically she's wearing contacts, maybe she dyed her hair or it's a wig. Yeah. And she like changed her skin tone? Yeah, she uh, she... What she hid? She hid inside her room for like two years, and that, that's why she's yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no sun. In my eyes, oh, in my <laughs> eyes, all you've proven is that the rotting fireplace wall was used. But you can't really call the proof that the other garage used the fireplace, now can you? So then, who was it that used the rotting wall? Show me the answer. Uh, the answer with real evidence. Remember, we've already finished our full investigations. And we found not a single suspicious thing in Mr. Kuchi Kuchiman's office. 
I mean, but since she's in charge of it, it would make sense she hid some evidence, you know? Right? She was assigned to that <laughs> building in the first place, so she had free reign. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it. My counter-argument. <sighs> That's very impressive. She has seen through the fact that I have yet to gather that one piece of evidence. What is it, Kay? I haven't heard a peep out of you in quite a while now. If you don't think you can handle it, feel free to leave it to the rest of us. Hi. Okay. Pull yourself together. You are the true heir to the Yatagarasu name, are you not? If you want to steal the truth, then you must never take your eyes off of it. This chase you're running to catch the truth, you must see it through to the very end. Mr. Edgeworth, you're right. I, I will see this through to the end. So, you go get her for me, Mr. Edgeworth. With pleasure. <laughs> Looks like a lack of evidence has left you wide open, doesn't it? Sheena, please show me you're someone I can trust. <laughs> Don't worry. This will be the decisive match. You'll see. I'm truly sorry, Agent Lang, but I simply cannot allow her to escape me again. Very well then, Agent Sheena. Shall we begin? <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Alright, this is a present one. I just gotta present something. Oh, guys, I'm finally voicing a villain! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Second time. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, but it's the same character, mm. so... Yeah, well, yeah. I guess you could say se technically through. Technically. 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 Techn no, technically okay. second. Sorry, but I guess in this case third. Anyway. I'm talking about like the Edgeworth games. Never mind. Hmm. Not Investigation. Uh -uh. Who is it that used the rotating wall? Show me your answer with real evidence. Let's look at the evidence. Now we can't. <laughs> we can't use. Profiles, unfortunately. Mm. Wait, what, is, what? What was that wire? Wire for eventually? Yeah, we don't know yet. Mm. Okay. Wait, what, where was the perfume found? Or is it the same perfume seven years ago? Where was the what? Okay, hold on to it. Mm, okay. Okay. What? We. To think about evidence. Oh, you used for a place now, can you? Real evidence. Her? Sorry? Do we press her? Apparently, or according to Julia, we all you have to do is present. Yeah, you only have to present here. Hmm. Now, this, this uh, looks like the statement, but I don't know. It is Wait, not the right statement. It's not the right statement. <laughs> no, it's not. It just has... I think more. Okay. I think more about. Um, we remember we already finished our fruit investigation, but they missed that part. They know? missed one thing, I guess. Yeah. Which is weird that they missed the one thing that 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 would incriminate China. Cause what you got it? that one thing. <laughs> they haven't investigated the smell. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. They haven't figured Not out again. who put this wire inside the clock. They haven't figured out what this... Okay, no. <laughs> there's, like, there's like four unaccounted pieces of evidence here that we haven't used. Mm -hmm. Five Wait, if you look count at this. Th hmm? uh, look at the hint, Daniel. Something you said was actually right. About the smell. Huh. No. Wait, what is that golden thing? What was that golden thing? Oh, that's a guitar, guitar pick. Guitar pick. It's wet for How some was it reason. Found? <gasps> because it was in the fountain. Yeah. It must have been in the fountain, but why was it in the fountain? Who was in the fountain? Who she was, was in, in the, the fountain. fountain. I don't think she was in the fountain. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's think about why this was used to... Why the clock was sabotaged. It obviously... To... Uh, to... to um... Sabotage the time, so... so... People wouldn't hear the time, I guess. This isn't mm. the right statement, either. Fucking mm. hell. Hey, <sighs> We found not a suspicious thing in Mr. Cochin's office. 
Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, we what found is this. that wire? This is this is this is suspicious. Still. Yeah. It's pretty suspicious. We haven't found suspicious. out what this is for yet. What do you think? I think just for the sake of like you know, presenting something, we can use this. I mean, we have full health anyway, so let's try this. Okay. Objection. Oh. Okay. Hmm. While you say that you and your agents have finished your thorough investigation, are you absolutely certain that you didn't overlook anything? Well, aren't we full of ourselves? Standing here to insult Interpol agents. You better not be insinuating that my men are incompetent, Mr. Prosecutor. I never do that. However, it doesn't change the fact that they did <laughs> that they overlook are. something. What? Two things, actually. <laughs> that is overlooked that they are incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> they overlook like two things. I'd like for you to take a look at, the, at this length of a wire. And what exactly is this supposed to mean? A length of wire. And so what about it? I'll tell you what. We found this in the Babylese Embassy not long ago. What? And we found it wound up inside the grandfather cl grandfather clock inside Mr. Kuchiman's office. You found that at the scene of Mr. Kuchiman's murder? But this wire wasn't all we found. We found one other important thing. There's more in Mr. Kuchiman's office. There were signs that someone had burned counterfeit bills there. Oh wait, uh, Moti, Moti, do you want to take Von Karma while I'm doing, uh, what's her name? Yeah. Uh, oh, Moti, do you want to take Von Karma while I'm doing the Sheena? Well, I don't. Okay, never mind. I don't think you need to, because according to the Julia, like she doesn't talk that much, so. Oh, okay. Not evidence was something you found out through in that girl's machine, right? So what if it was? Huh? And that's what I thought. But unfortunately for you, a recreation made by a machine is hardly a concrete proof. Among the ashes you found in the room, did you happen to find any counterfeit bills? No. You see, so there was nothing wrong in that office. Nothing you call evidence, anyway. Objection! I'm sorry, but I seem to have given you the wrong impression. How so? I don't recall saying that I was presenting evidence of any sort. But rather, I was pointing out that your investigation was incomplete, and that this throws doubt on the purity of your investigation into the Yatagarasu. <laughs> you still suspect me, I see. Alright, then I ask you to point out what part of my investigation is incomplete. The other Interpol Which one, agents bitch? worked under the you command of play? Agent Sheena. And is it not possible that the reason the person K was chasing chose the third floor was because the person knew there would be no other agents on that floor? Furthermore, we've come to see that Agent Sheena was only pretending to be investigating the Yatagarasu to the point of arresting K. In that case, there is one location that no one has yet to inspect. Your team's investigation was incomplete because they failed to inspect this location. The next room. The, the next room? Yeah. The we elevator! No, just okay, the elevator. The elevator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one was supposed to use the elevator. Maybe she used the elevator. <gasps> Maybe the real That's elevator the was the friends from. we made along the way. Huh? What? The wires from the elevator. That's why How? the elevator <gasps> didn't work. Wait! What? What? Wait. That's actually... That could be. Could but be, because it's like... They look more like barbed wire. It's right now, but... Wait, wait. Isn't, like, isn't the wires elevators are used from are fucking huge? They're huge and they're like, way longer than that, yeah. You can't, it's yeah. not easy to coil them up <laughs> yeah. either. They're more like ropes. Like metal ropes. Yeah. Not just mm -hmm. simple wires. But where else would it come from? I mean, the next room. Well, we don't know what's happening in the next room. Yeah, I feel like they didn't investigate this. Because all the suspicion was thrown into this room. So, like, you know, mm -hmm. she was like, no, don't, don't investigate this part. Because I was here and Wait, no, no, I totally did not. No, 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 no. 
What, sorry? I checked that room. There's no. nothing there. Yeah, exactly. She could say oh. that. So. Present. Take that! The location, uh -huh. Agent Sheena, is of course the room you claim to have examined. I believe the room next to Mr. Kojima's office warrants a thorough inspection. Huh. Even if you do that, I doubt you'll ever find a of use if you. Sorry, my mom's calling me. Okay. Even if you do that, I doubt you'll find anything of use to you in there. Hmm. I will be the one to decide that. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir, I'm on it. I'll be right back after check out the office next to, next to the room next to the office. Wee! Okay.